this video is going to review a selection of implements starting off with this a claw hammer with a, a rounded head about two and a half centimeters in diameter that's about an inch in diameter and two claws at the back each about a centimeter wide if this were used to hit somebody it could impact them either on the rounded part or in the claws. Now this is another sort of hammer, slightly less substantial, ball peen hammer with the rounded head which is about a centimetre and a half in diameter and then a wedge shape at the back uh, about uh, a centimetre and a half as well. And this is a wrench with an adjustable head and the maximum width at the head is about seven centimeters and if it's fully extended these claws are fully extended the gap between them is about uh, three centimeters the width of the uh, ends about a centimeter this is a, a heavy glass bottle the end is about eight centimeters in diameter and has a slight lip to it. As a weapon this could be used in a number of ways. This is part of a household brick, quite substantial, quite heavy, with a variety of surfaces and quite a rough texture which is also quite brittle. And again, as used as a weapon, this could be impacting against the body in a number of different ways. Then we have the sole of a Dr. Martin shoe. The toe end is curved, obviously and the sole pattern has a number of features some areas are textured and then there is a pattern of raised components both from side to side front to back leaving channels between them or indentations and the heel, again a curved surface with that same pattern of textured areas and raised components with channels in between. And then a step at the heel. Now if this were used to uh, stamp on somebody, for example, leaving a patterned injury, then the pattern of the injury would reflect the intervening spaces between the raised components of the pattern and not the raised components themselves. 